Hey, Kara from Karen Co Creative here. If you're new to me, we do both done for you and DIY websites and online business systems. And of course, here on YouTube, we're doing the DIY part of it. Today, I have a quick tutorial that's going to show you how to change the thumbnail image that is associated with your website. If you share a link via a smartphone or on Facebook, um, you usually see an image pop up with a little title and maybe a little bit of helper text. If that image isn't what you want it to be, this is how you're going to change it. Um, and this, as a little side note, it is very hot here today and the AC does not reach my office upstairs. So if you're the fan in the background, I apologize. As you can see a kitty here behind me, but that won't distract me and I'll take you over my shoulder and we'll show you how to do this. So this is what I'm talking about so you can see it. This is what pops up in a text message or on Facebook if you share the link to your website this will be specific to the page that you share. So it will be different depending on the page. If you just do your website, like mine is kcocreative.com, that will be one image. If you do kcocreative.com slash portfolio, that will be a different image. Um, and I'll show you how you can set this image. This is for WordPress, mind you. So in WordPress, how you set the image for any of those pages is you come to your page list in the dashboard. We'll come to pages. And here, see any of these pages, anything that you share the link to regularly, you might want to go through and do this for. The thing you want to do is come to edit to the page that you want to change. And you would upload a featured image here. So if you upload a featured image here, that is going to add an image in that little spot. It's not gonna show up anywhere else, depending on your theme. Most themes, it won't show up on the page itself for pages, although it will for posts. On pages, this won't show up on the page. On mine, it's not gonna show up. Do double check that. If it does show up on your page, or for some reason you then test the link, and it's not showing the image that you've added, first you'll want to purge your cache, or give it a day or two, and then retest. If it's still not working, then we have another option, and that is to use the Yoast SEO plugin. So if you don't have it on your site already, you're going to come to plugins. Add new plugin. You'll search for Yoast, Y-O-S-T, SEO. And then you will install this plugin here. As you can see, I do already have it on my computer, on my website. So then we'll come back to the page. Again, back to that page we want to make sure the thumbnail image changes for. And here we're gonna scroll all the way down to the Yoast SEO section. This might look different for you depending on your theme and website builder that you're using. Um, but here we have Yoast SEO. Here, all of this stuff is for the actual SEO, the search engine optimization of your page. You can use this to make sure that the website is optimized. But in terms of just the image, social, you want to come to. So here is where you can add an image specifically for the link for Facebook. It does typically work for texting as well. Um, so go ahead and add the image that you want both here on Facebook and you can add it here on Twitter too, just to be sure. Um, and yeah, so it'll work if you don't upgrade, it just won't be able to see the preview. So you can add in your image and that should take care of it for you. Go ahead and give it a try. Good luck. And if this video helps you out, please do be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit subscribe and drop a like on this. All right. Thank you.